This is Keith Berkelhammer and this is Reef Bum TV. Low water pressure can have a negative impact on the purity and output of RODI product water. In this video, I provide my review and setup guide for a booster pump kit for a SpectraPure RODI unit. For my 187 gallon aquarium, I use a SpectraPure Max Cap 180 gallon per day manual flush unit. The booster pump, which is made by Aquatech, can be used for all 60, 90, and 180 gallon per day SpectraPure manual flush systems. SpectraPure sells another booster pump kit for auto flush systems. The kit comes with a pressure switch, a power supply with 3 feet of cable, tubing, and fittings for the tubing. With my unit, the water pressure was low, below 40 psi, and my cartridges were expiring much quicker than expected, a problem I needed to solve. To install the unit, I first turned off the water supply and made sure the pressure gauge was reading zero. Next, I installed the fittings into the pump. Once that was done, I removed the 1 quarter inch black tubing that connects the right side of the carbon filter to the input of the RO membrane housing. My next task was to find a spot for the pump. The pump can be mounted in any position, although upside down ceiling mounts can reduce performance by up to 15%. It is important to mount the pump fairly close to the RODI unit in a dry place and away from any heat source. I installed my pump on top of my RODI unit and over my slop sink, a nice security blanket to collect water in case any leaks develop. The next step was to cut some black tubing and connect one end to the right side of the carbon filter and the other end to the input side of the pump. After that I cut some more black tubing to the appropriate size to connect the output of the pump to the input of the RO membrane housing. My next move was to disconnect the flow restrictor, it is either green or red, mine was red, from the out port of the ASO valve. I then inserted a 3 inch long piece of yellow tubing into the out port of the ASO valve. Once that was done, I connected the pressure switch to the yellow tubing and then connected the red flow restrictor to the other port on the pressure switch. Next I removed the Y connector from the drain side of the flush assembly and removed the yellow tubing from the ball valve. I then inserted some yellow tubing into the ball valve, cut it to match the flow restrictor and then reattached the Y connector. The final step was to connect the power supply to the pump. Once I was done with the install, I turned the water supply on, plugged the pump in, and checked for leaks. The booster pump is equipped with an adjustable bypass screw that controls the maximum operating pressure. The pressure should never exceed 100 psi, so the screw can be turned to bring the pressure down. The pump can be left plugged into an outlet since it will automatically turn off once the water supply is shut off. One more tip to increase production and purity, only make 20 gallons or so of RODI water at a time. Constantly turning the RODI unit on and off to make small amounts of water will decrease the life of the cartridges. Overall I give the booster pump a big thumbs up. My water pressure has increased dramatically as has the production of the product water from my RODI unit. The pump does make a bit of a hum, but that is a small price to pay for increased production and enhanced water purity. The booster pump will pay for itself in no time since cartridges will have to be swapped out less often, a home run for any budget conscious reef keeper. For more information on these booster pump kits, please visit the SpectraPure website at SpectraPure.com. Just a quick reminder that you can view my live HD webcam on ReefBum.com. Use the ReefBum TV nav button to get there and to visit my HD video page. Many thanks for watching and again, I want to remind you to hit the subscribe button to be alerted to new videos on my YouTube channel.